Consider supporting my Patreon for only a dollar a month, and you get access to sketches, scrap content, and your name at the end of every video. Link below in the description. So before I even get into this video, we need to take a listen to this badass soundtrack. Hey there you lovely cadets, my name is Metrox63C and welcome back to the Space Lounge. Now, recently, if you haven't been paying attention to Instagram, I recently bought Dragon Ball Fighters, or as I like to call it, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Even though the official dev said it's Dragon Ball Fighters, but that's something for another day. Um, and I'm really enjoying this game. Now, I haven't been there in the closed betas, or the open betas, I should say, the open betas. I wasn't there for the beta, but playing this game now was worth all of the hype, all of the weight. The models look great. It feels like, majority of the time it feels like I'm controlling the anime when the cutscenes go off in the story. It's, it's, it's a blast. Um, now, there are some good things for this game, and there are some bad things, and the good things are mainly, you know, the models look amazing, the Kai Blasts, and all that, they feel, they feel accurate, and I love the, the, the take on the lobby setup, because my problem with Xenoverse was that everything was so big and huge, it was like, you, it felt like you spent... 30 minutes trying to find the local lobby or the online area if you didn't play it too much. Like me, I go to work, I do my day job, and I mostly play Overwatch. Um, with this, everything's all chibified, everything's tiny, and here's the area you need to be in, and this is what you gotta do. Uh, you know, you got 64 people in the lobby, so you create a ring in the middle of nowhere. They're, you know, if they want to join, they'll come into your ring and they'll fight you and shit like that. Which I thought was pretty cool. You don't have to go to some place and meet up. You could just be, like, in the same server. So, like, if you're a YouTuber, you could just be like, come to this server. Do you see me? Join this ring. It's all you got to do. I think that's amazing. Um, however, the one major flaw. This is a day one thing and it hasn't reared its head after about the second... Uh, the end of the second day to the third day was when the first day happened there was little to no surfers in any sector of the world you picked and what that meant was the last known section of the world you selected whether it be west north america west coast east coast uh canada wherever you put in the regions right there was a guaranteed chance you were going to be loaded into a lobby only to discover that you were only there a person too late. And I had an issue with that. Because the... How do I want to say? The, the lobby... You either had your online or you were offline. And, I, you know, you're playing, you're playing a game that's, 
you know, you want to you want to connect with the world. And for the first day, it's just like, oh fuck me, I gotta play offline. Luckily, everything's there for you, like story mode, the arcade, all that. It's all offline for you, so that's great. It's just, it's a day one pet peeve that a lot of games inevitably go through. Servers are bad the first day to a week. Now, their gra Arc System has gradually been improving this shit. And good on them. Because if this would have lingered for like a month, oh, I'd have been bitching. I'd have been all over Twitter. You'd have saw me on this video. You'd have saw me on a video bitching about it. You'd have saw me doing this and that. Because that's unacceptable. And, and it still is a, to, a, to a degree. Like, having to tell your people that you want them to meet you in this server, but the server's full. Uh, I think there needs to be an option where it's like, kind of like how Smash Bros does it. Where it's like, you create a thing for you and a group of friends, and it's only, it's it's kind of like Street Fighter, where it's peer-to-peer, -peer or however they do it. Where it's a lobby. I want a lobby mode. That needs to be an update. Where you want to have a group of like 10 to 12 people. From your YouTube live stream, your Twitch live stream, your Mixer live stream, etc. Tell them here's the lobby code. Come in. That needs to be a thing. And Arc, I hope you're listening. Arc Systems, please put that in. I'm not saying rush it. Take your time. Write the code. Make it an update. That 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 needs to be a thing. I mean, Street Fighter does it. Smash does it. Majority of fighting games does this. And I'm just hoping that it's just well, it's the last second thing. You didn't put it in, but then you're going to introduce it. Maybe you have a twist you want to do with it. Now, in terms of the gameplay, I have to say, it feels like four different fucking games at once, which is great because they're my favorite games. In some degrees, it feels like Street Fighter. In others, it feels like Smash. It feels like an Arc System game because I played Guilty Gear Exert. And it felt like... Another game I can't remember right now. Fuck. There's another game it felt like, but the main three was Smash, Street Fighter, and its own Arc System games. Which is great. Um, there's another game, and I feel like if I play it, I'm gonna remember it, and I'm gonna hate myself for not remembering it for this recording. But, I remember hearing a lot of video complaints, and I've seen a lot of stuff on Twitter where they're like, Well, it's too simple. Everything's one button. But yet, these will be the same people when they go buy the next Smash Bros. that comes out with Nintendo. And I'm calling out my own community right now. I'm calling out my Nintendo community right now. If you're playing Dragon Ball Fighters and you're complaining that this game has little input, you need to stop playing. Because it is more comparable. It feels a lot more like Street Fighter. Like Ark was trying to have a Street Fighter V thing where... You know, it's kind of simple, not too hard to understand, it's easy to pick up, but hard to master. That's exactly what Smash Bros. Smash Bros has always been, that's what Street Fighter V is. I mean, we don't want to go to the days of Third Strike, because now it's alienating a fuck ton of people. But it's got that Third Strike kind of vibe, in terms of difficulty. Like, there are moves in this game where if you don't recover fast enough, oh, well, your opponent's gonna fuck you up. So, the whole, it's simple, and you're only mashing one button, nah. You open that command list, you open that specials list, you'll start seeing quarter circles, and everything. Yeah, there's no Z's and all that, there's quarter circle. The most basic of Street Fighter. Quarter circle. Front and back. The most basic. Then you got your left, right, up, downs for certain things, which is, in Smash terms, which is like what meteor smash, fucking neutral smash, all that stuff. Left, right, up smash, all that. And then you got your arc system stuffs, like for example, Android 16, where he could kill your character. Let's say you're just damaging him and shit. You've never been scratched once. He gets three Kai gauge fills. He can one shot with his ultimate. Most people's ultimates take about half health. What, uh, three, four, uh, three, th uh, not three. Oh, yeah, three, four, not three, three fourths are just about, uh, two thirds. No, this dude will self destruct. His self destruct is a self destruct. So, if that's your final character and he decides he's ready to self destruct on your last guy, 
it's over. Destructive finish. Now, that's amazing. And that's where the little bit of arc system comes in. It kind of shakes it up because majority of fighters, it's always battle for stamina, battle, I mean, battle till your stamina runs out, your, your, your vitals, you know, all that shit runs out, however they want to phrase it. Health bar. We all understand HP. Battle it out till your HP's gone. And that's just been a lot of fighters. And I love how Ark likes to mix it up. I love how Smash likes to mix it up. Smash is all about percentages. If you go past 100%, well, you start flying off the screen. I love that. And I love, and, 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 and to segue into the story for a bit, I love, and I love what you did here, Arc Systems. The story is basically teaching you how to play the game. And the main mechanic of the game is the main focus of the game. I don't want to say too much, but you'll understand it when you pick it up. I thought it was hilarious and the most cheesiest fucking story ever, but it works because you can do pretty much any fucking thing with Dragon Ball. It, it, it's one of those properties at this point where like you can do any fucking insane thing with it and it'll just work. It makes sense. And then you got the, not to mention, the another great positive is you got the English ja and the Japanese voice actors coming back to, re to have recorded lines. It's amazing. You can toggle between the two. I mean, you can't do like Street Fighter Five, but you can select what characters have them. I mean, my boyfriend prefers the Japanese. Now, when it comes to my voice preference, I don't, I don't care. But it's just something. It's a, there's a, there's a, a vibe to the English. Maybe not the Ocean dub, but the Funimation. I mean, I grew up with all of the dubs. There's just a vibe to the dub that I like to them. I don't know. I, I, it's weird, but overall, a first impression, and pretty much my review of it. Because I'm not gonna review this game. This is my review. My thoughts. See, I don't do reviews here, and I don't, and I hope you've noticed with the Rocket League video and stuff like that. I don't do straight out reviews and oh well, this problem here and that, and focus on it. Like I like to. I like to talk about them and put them out on the table all at once. If you get what I'm saying, I, I know my words are a jumbled mess. But as a first impressions, I didn't beat the story yet. I don't think I need to do. I don't want to. I don't want to do a review or an or uh, first impressions the week of with the story. Maybe I'll revisit this game and give a review to the story. But in terms of the online fighting, it's rock solid. It reminds me of four different games at once, which is why it confuses me when I'm first starting to play. Because I'm inputting Smash commands, I'm inputting I'm inputting Street Fighter commands, and Guilty Yet Guilty Gear Exert commands. And just see what works, and I get confused because so, some of these games, some of these characters, they just have some of those commands where it's just like, oh well he does this, she does this. And I don't know, it's, it's just weird. I know I'm all over the place, as per usual. It's just what you come to expect from my personality. But, overall, if you couldn't tell already, I'm excited. Mostly, and I'm going to end it here, is I'm excited because this is the first Dragon Ball Z game that I have played since Budokai, Budokai Tenkaichi, Boo's Fury, and Legacy of Goku 1 and 2. I skipped out on a bunch of Dragon Ball games growing up. I missed Dragon Ball Origins for the DS, a lot of the Super Saiyan Saga 2. I had Super Saiyan. Oh, and I, uh, the fucking Dragon Ball Sagas, where they go back and they tell the stories of a bunch of the, the, the Frieza, the, the Saiyan Raditz, and Nappa Vegeta first appearance saga, the, the Cell games, the Boo, all that. Back when, you know, back before Sa uh, Super came out. You know, they completely skipped over um, GT in there, I think. I don't remember. I haven't played it. It's been so long since I played on the Xbox. But I've missed a lot of Dragon Ball games. Um, and this, this, playing this, is a great refresher for me. And it's a great time to be a Dragon Ball fan. Now... And naysayers of Arc System, say what you will. You're like, oh, I'm sure. And, and you know, I've heard it. I've heard it. Where they're like, oh, well, Arc Systems, they, it doesn't have the Budokai feel. It's all, it, it just feels like Street Fighter or it's dumbed down. 
Uh, 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 uh. It's not all 3D, all open world where you could turn around kind of like Tekken. That's what I'm used to. Grow up. It's a fighting game. They've all been fighting games. But this is a more rock solid fighting game. My issue with Budokai and Tenkaichi was the fact that, you know, a lot of times you were moving around in a straight fucking circle. That shit made me dizzy. And to see this, this is a fighting game. This can go full competitive. This can go into Evo. We could be seeing this in Evo and fucking, like, uh, fucking tournaments all around. Like, I don't know what other tournaments are for fighting, except Evo. But tournaments in general, we will be seeing this if they decide to pick this game up. Because this is one of those games I feel confident you're going to be seeing people pull ultimates out their ass. You're going to see people summon Shinron. I can't do it. I've come close to doing it. I cannot hit 70 hits. I'm getting there. My highest is like 50. I'm getting there. I want to summon Shinron. But as far as my first impressions go, if you can't tell I'm hyped for this game, I don't know what the fuck you've been doing for the past. As, as In terms of this recording, I don't know what the fuck you've been doing for the past 15 minutes or so. But you obviously ain't paying attention. This has been Metroxix 3C from the Space Lounge. I love all of y'all. Keep your tails wagging and enjoy your time relaxing here in a space lounge. Go ahead and hit that like button if you like this, if you like this video. And tell me what you think about this video. Are you hyped for Dragon Ball Fighters or Fighter Z? Uh, do you want to see me live stream it? Because I'm planning on doing a live stream. I got next day off. I'm thinking about doing a live stream for about a day and a half or so. Maybe not all at once. Uh, but let me know what you think. Should I do more videos like this where, you know, I talk about video games that, you know, are new, but I also like them? Let me know what you think. Uh, in terms of art videos, there's a new art video coming soon as soon as the sketch is done. Uh, I think I talked about this in the last video that I posted, or one of the few, vid the few videos I posted. Talked about this for 20 uh, during the start of 2018. So go look at the, the videos for the 2018 uh what I feel about it starting up. I'll put a I'll put a card to it. Um, I don't know why I didn't just put a card to it in the first place. Uh, again, I'm getting rambly again, but have a great uh, end of January in terms of this recording and great Valentine's in early February. And stay safe out there, you guys. Have a good one. This has been Metroxix. See you later.